it's no secret that I talk about dating a lot, and so we're gonna start calling this Team Single, the portion of the Jamie Gray Show where I talk about life and love and those two things together. <laughs> Some content in this video may not be suitable for younger ears. Today, I'm gonna be talking about my future, my life, maybe even, you know, my wedding and stuff because today I'm gonna to be talking about arranged marriages. <laughs> So I'm pretty open about my dating life. I'm pretty open about, you know, like as far as my standards, as far as like who I would date, who I would not date. And I've even shared a little bit, some stories of like past experiences of like going on a date or like hanging out with someone that clearly didn't work out because I'm still super single. And but I wanted to share a little bit more on the end of marriage because when I talk about marriage a lot and I talk about my parents' involvement in my life and just being really close to my family, I do hear the topic of arranged marriage quite often just kind of in passing with friends or people that I might meet at shows. We've got shows like, you know, Married at First Sight, and then there's another show that was out, I don't know if it's still on, where it's like, my parents pick my spouse, and there are a lot of shows like that that, you know, kind of have this modern day version or modified version of arranged marriage, and I talk to my parents about it a lot, like, would I be down with an arranged marriage? Like, let's let's dig into this situation. So when it comes to an actual reality TV show or something like that, I don't know if I would actually go for an arranged marriage, like trusting people that I don't know to find my husband for me um, and that kind of stuff. That actually, that terrifies me. However, I can 100% say to you guys that if my mom and my dad and my older sister Morgan all agreed on a guy and they were like, this is gonna be a good idea, I would 100% marry him having met him only at the altar for the first time. I think saying that out loud, and I've, I've said that to my family for years, they just <laughs> can't agree on it. You know when you're like at a restaurant with your friends and you don't know what you wanna eat and you're like, oh, just pick something, you know? Not like that. It's not at all in a way of rushing or a way of trying to get it over with. But honestly, it's just knowing that I've surrounded myself with these people who I trust and who are in healthy, godly marriages and relationships, um, who, you know, their relationships are not perfect, but I've, I've, I, I'm surrounded by them kind of by default because it's my mom and my dad and my sister, but even now at 25 choosing to have the relationship that I have with my parents and choosing to have the relationship with my sister that I have with her, I know that they are able to add a perspective and they're able to add um, just certain um, just opinions and wisdom um, to my life that I'm, that, I, that I'm not really like, it's not really a thing I can do. I mean, they're like older and married and they have experiences that they can add to my life um, and that would, that do come into play when it comes to me being interested in a guy even now. If I'm interested in a guy, like there's certain things that I'll go to my dad about and be like, dad, is this a bad idea? Or like, or, you know, is it, is it weird that he said this or like, should I have done this better? Like, did I mess this up? Um, I'll go to my mom for certain things. I'll go to my sister for certain things. And my sister's been married almost seven years. And sometimes I'll go to her husband about things too, because he's very much taken on the role as a big brother in my life. And I really trust the people that are that I'm surrounded or that I'm surrounded by. Um, I trust them enough to make big decisions for my life. <laughs> it's not saying that um, I'm currently in the process of like an arranged marriage, like. That's not what's happening right now. <laughs> That's not a current part of my life. But I think it's a really cool question to ask yourself. Like, are there people in your life that you trust? Are there people in your life that have great wisdom? Are there healthy relationships being modeled in your life, whether this is your parents or your mentors or your pastors or your friends or your siblings? So that when you are moving toward the point of like wanting to be in a long-term relationship, wanting to move toward marriage, like are there people that you could trust to walk with you through that journey? I know it can sometimes be hard to surround yourself with married couples. Maybe it's not hard for you, but sometimes like I get tired of like advice sometimes. I'm kind of like, okay, I got this, but like I don't. And I know that it can be hard sometimes to find those couples that can be equally encouraging and you know holding you accountable and that can share their wisdom but that share with humility and love you know I know that can be hard sometimes and I'm not saying that you need 40 or 50 couples but I think it's a wise decision for us as single people to be like conscious um, of, of the married couples that we surround ourselves with from a leader standpoint and a spiritual standpoint and just a humility standpoint, my father would just be 
like he he would know like he would just know he would know he would know and from a personality standpoint and a humor standpoint and honestly intentions my mom like would have it figured out she'd be like oh he's here for like i know yep mm -hmm. as far as what the guy looks like that's definitely why my sister has to be there because sometimes my dad will be like he was a great guy he was a great idea and i'm like dad like every everyone is created by god but just not i'm not personally attracted to him so i'm like dad maybe maybe no <laughs> and my brother-in-law honestly i think he mostly is just looking for him like a best friend because when he and my sister and myself when we hang out i think he just kind of like Okay. It's so wise to be intentional while we are in dating relationships, but don't wait until you're in a dating relationship to start to be intentional. If you're a single adult and you desire to be married, I truly think that it's a wise decision to surround yourself with other married couples that are in great, healthy, solid, not perfect, obviously, but just really great intentional relationships. You'll learn so much. You will grow so much. You can ask the awkward questions and who knows, maybe they just might pick out someone super awesome for you. My family hasn't done that yet, but, but maybe, <laughs> maybe they will. <laughs> All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. Like, would you ever consider an arranged marriage or even an arranged date? We'll go that far, we'll start there. If so, I would love to know what you think in the comments. Who would you be okay arranging it? And I would love to know if there's anyone that's actually ever been in an arranged marriage or you're like in an arranged marriage now. I would love to know more about that. That would be amazing to know. So please leave it in the comments below. Any more questions that you guys wanna know about anything, just let me know in the comments. I'm Jamie Grace and this has been Team Single here on The Jamie Grace Show. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. I will see you soon. Ugh, I miss you already. Bye. I'm a little different.